Hang on for a moment, guys. Some weird technical issues. I'm trying to get my cam on. Hey Yash VJ, what's up? Weijun Wei and Steve. So I'll sing so di. You guys are on time. I know you can't see me, but I'm getting on it. I'm fixing it. Yes, Bagus, Aji, Hamunkas. We're back. I'm fine, Yash. Or should I say VJ? What should I call you by? Raising Hell. Raising Hell 07. Hello. Some guy. Didn't just. Didn't they just release the XM4? Because I just got them yesterday. Yeah, but these ones are gonna be quite special. Quite special. Watch and you'll see. Michigan, hey, hey, old friend. How's it going, bro? <laughs> Look, I think I might be disappointed too. But I'll talk about that in a bit. I might be disappointed. Hey, Hare Krishna. Weren't you on my last stream? Hey, you're from Scotland. Hello from Singapore. It's like 12 a.m. here. Josh Bartoli. Greetings from Italy. Hey, greetings. Bonjour or no? Ready for it? Hope it's more budget friendly than XM4. Yeah, you know what? I don't think it's gonna be more budget friendly than XM4. We'll see. Um, Miss Ba Mayan, we have about 15 minutes, 5 0. So during this period, from now till when the stream starts, I'll be talking a bit about what what I'm expecting is going to be launched. It's going to be an interesting product because someone in my comments said that this might be the sequel to the Xperia Year Duo. How many of you have heard of this product? Hey, JCXY, ni hao. <laughs> Do you live in the UK? No, Rambo, I don't think this will be replacing the XM4. This is more like... Well, Sony had this experimental product a few years ago. And it appears that they've doubled down. Let's <laughs> see. Hey, Vic, what's up, man? RJ, hey. Good to see you. I hope I said it correctly, Bartoli. Josh Bartoli. Josh. I don't know. Uh, Sony may announce its price not in the stream, but maybe in a press release. So we'll see. <laughs> I will have them where whatever they are. Nice. 
Hey, Yathika Srikumara. So guys, if I'm butchering your names, you know, <laughs> um, I'm really bad with pronouncing things. So, yeah, <laughs> I apologize in advance if I butcher your names. Just saying. <laughs> Bidu Nayak. I'm just waiting for the prize drop of the XM4. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think it'll be this soon. Maybe there will be a prize drop. Like, there was a prize drop, I think, during the Christmas sale and Black Friday. But I don't think. The I don't think the XM4s are gonna be heavily discounted like the XM3 us the XM3s are now. Where can I watch the live stream? Uh it's on Sony's uh what you call it? Sony's YouTube page. It's the official YouTube page, so yeah, it's there. Let's check, okay. Let's see how many more minutes. Whoops. Wrong window. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Yep, here we have it. So we have 47 more minutes. Originally from Ipoh in Malaysia, moved here about 20 years ago. 20 years! My, my. Do you consider yourself now more British than Malaysian? Or do you still try to keep some of your uh, Malaysian traditions in the UK. I'm from Singapore, so if I move to the UK, I'm not sure if I'll still be Singaporean in about two decades. Yeah, uh, Weijun, it's gonna be open style, it's gonna be open fit. From the looks of it, yeah, it's most probably gonna be open fit. Never got nice price of the WFXM4 in Indonesia. Yeah, I think electronics in Indonesia seem to be just as expensive as in Singapore. Maybe a little more expensive even. Uh, Barat, I actually do like the Sony brand. Scale of 1 to 10, I don't know man. <laughs> Maybe an 8. Yeah, because they've been consistently listening to customers and being innovative. Just as we're about to see. You'd be mad if you moved to the UK from Singapore. Why so? I was actually thinking of living in the UK for a while because I'm a big history buff. And there are so many like historical sites in the UK that I want to visit. Stonehenge being one of them. <laughs> I'm good, Vic. I'm good. I don't think these are going to be better than the XM4. Assuming that the Sony WF-L900 is what is going to be launched today i don't think it's going to be better than the xm4 but it is going to be an alternative to the xm4 this is a product that is designed to live side by side with the more traditional so-called sony earbuds i actually wouldn't mind an open fit we talked about that on your leak video for walking around outside yeah, it could be, it could be. Yeah, some bone conduction could be involved, I don't know. Yeah, big band, big band. Of course, uh, Westminster Abbey. There are some pretty nice pubs in the UK as well that are like pretty old. So yeah, I would love to visit these, like some of the oldest pubs in the UK. I think one is called The Old Fighting Cock or something like that because they used to do like cock fighting 
and then there are some others which claim to be older so yeah i would love to visit those bars Uh, what product are you referring to, VD? Like, improved over what product? I think for Sony earbuds in general, I think the call quality is the number one thing I would like to see improved upon. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for that. You're so kind. <laughs> I have been doing this for a while, so yeah, I I think I am pretty knowledgeable about true wireless earbuds. Yeah, so if it's the XM4 you're talking about, definitely the call quality. I think that is the number one thing that I want to see improved. Sony has released a few software updates after the launch. So I'm not too sure if it can be improved because they've probably heard many people complain about it by now. Mindset has probably changed but still has lots of fond, fond memories of Malaysia. Weather is definitely mad here especially. Oh yeah, the rising fuel prices. Your oil prices are crazy. Uh, just yesterday oil prices hit an all-time high i think it's like 92 dollars per barrel it's insane like singapore and malaysia is like near to the equator so it probably is like the goldilocks spot in terms of the weather like it's not too hot not too cold but if you're coming here from the UK, wow, you could be you're gonna be smacked right in the face with the humidity and the heat at first. But as soon as you get used to it, it becomes Yeah, it's it's very bearable. <laughs> but I personally can't live without air conditioning. Air conditioning to me is like yeah, I can't live without it. <laughs> it's like water <laughs> in Singapore. Hey, streak, Streaky S. Hey, from Singapore. Thank you, thank you. You're, you are so kind. <laughs> no homo. Equator gang. Oh. Yeah, face in the oven. Yeah. <laughs> I know like in the UK, 24 degrees Celsius is considered super hot. Like it's hot, you know, and if you run in that weather, yeah, it's you'll pass out from heat exhaustion and all that. But in Singapore, 24 is like, <laughs> it's like a cool day. So you imagine if you're coming back from the UK after 10 years, the weather is something you need to get used to. Are these gonna be like futuristic he hearing aids? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rajan. It's quite possible that, that these are gonna be like hearing aids. Like I mentioned in my leak video. And Sony has actually done something like this before. So how many guys do we have watching right now? Let's check. Wow, we have, wow. We have 68 viewers. Now 72. And 13 likes. Guys, if you haven't smashed the like button yet, please smash it. If that's something you're into. Because that will really help push me up in the rankings. And guys, if this is indeed the Sony WF-L900. Chances are it's gonna be launched in Singapore and I'm gonna review it. So if you want me to look at this product, subscribe and tap the bell button so that you stay notified of new content from this channel. This is very important 
And if you haven't done this already, check in your YouTube settings if you've enabled notifications from YouTube. Because the number one reason why you're not getting notifications, even if you subscribe and tap the bell, is you haven't turned on notifications in the settings menu. So do that and when the review video comes out, you will be among the first to know, okay? <laughs> 34 degrees is tropical. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's like tropical weather. But I've also met many people from the UK and Singapore and they all tell me one thing. Oops. <laughs> My light went out of battery. Whatever. So they all tell me one thing, alright? I love the weather in Singapore. It's so nice and warm and I can just go to the beach every day if it's not raining. Yeah, and they just love it in general. They love that they can like travel throughout the Asia Pacific region from this one sunny island. That's that of course that's before the pandemic, right? But it takes a little getting just like it takes a little bit of adjustment. You need to adjust to the humidity here in order for you to really enjoy like the weather. Currently hammering down on the south coast at the moment. Does humidity have an impact on the lifespan of technical things like TV sets? Oh yeah, I... <laughs> Air conditioning is like... It's like a must-have in Singapore for most households now. Like back in the day when it was unaffordable, then yeah, you know, it, the best we could do was having a big fan in every room. But air conditioning is like so common. Now, I cannot imagine living life without air conditioning. I have mine on right now. Does it have a an impact on like technology? Not really. But if you live next to the sea, if you live on the beach, then yeah, because uh, of salty air, so you get corrosion in the internal electronics. But apart from that, no, they tend to last pretty well here. As long as it's within the normal operating temperature range, usually it's like from minus, no, not really, it's from zero degrees to like 40 degrees Celsius. It never reaches 40 degrees Celsius here. <laughs> yeah, Malaysia weather does not allow wearing of headphones. Yeah, it's very humid, so it. it you perspire a lot. Yeah, Rajan, I think it's definitely gonna be like an, a, a sequel to the Xperia Ear Duo. I'll be talking a little bit about that. We're gonna take a look at what was the Xperia Ear Duo and what can we possibly expect from this launch, which is gonna happen in about half an hour. About 35 minutes to be precise. Yeah, I do, buggers, I do have every intention to review the Moondrop wireless earbuds. I hear they're pretty good. And I like the packaging too. It's <laughs> anime girls. I'm a big anime fan, so yeah, <laughs> it's right up my alley. WF thousand XM three, yes, it's very close, very close to the XM four. Pardon me, guys. The camera's battery died. Gotta change the battery.
Okay, I'm back and it seems like the camera's working. Good, good, okay. Am I in focus? Yep, I'm in focus. Great. I've been to Singapore once, though I was like three. <laughs> you see, it's so hard that even at three years old, that was the only thing you remembered about Singapore. Claudio, you should come visit again. Like as soon as like travel becomes easier, visit Singapore again. You haven't really experienced Singapore. I mean, it's hard and humid, but, the, but Singapore has so much to offer. And it's a small island. You can cover like all the important tourist attractions, landmarks in about one week. <laughs> it was that hard, huh? Hey, Philip! You got the same microphone! Yeah, this microphone is so good. My voice sounds very deep. <laughs> and it's got all these easy uh, like uh, presets you can just toggle from the mic itself. But this is a really old product. Like I've had this for about five years. <laughs> but I've only begun to use it recently for like live streams because before that I was having very bad syncing problems. Uh, between my audio and the camera so i'm like what's happening and then i switched to this microphone and things got a lot better my voice sounds better too but i like it i like it i'm gonna continue using it till it drops dead <laughs> then i can then i have every reason to use like a new microphone we'll see yeah i think i've already Oh, you're talking about the JBL Free 2? Look, the thing with JBL is they usually launch products very late in Singapore. So even if I wanted to do such a comparison, it's it's not like I can do it so quickly. I know the Free 2 has been in the market for a while, but we just don't have it in Singapore yet. Yeah, I know it's ridiculous. Which is why I don't really talk about JBL products nowadays. Because like, six months after everyone else has reviewed it, then I come in with my review, it's too late. Yeah, we are weebs. Weep gang, oh who? Yeah, it announces on YouTube. So we still have like, okay, let's check. Oh, 29 minutes. Hang on, let me show you. Yeah, it's 29 minutes. So they've got 671 people watching in there. Can we get 600 people watching this channel for this coverage? If we can get if we can reach like 300 people i'll be happy already yeah how many people do we have watching anyway let me check right now 73 come on guys hello nick Just got the Shure MV7 mic using the Sony XM4S with it. Not a fan of the Sony, so they creep out of my ears over time. Top of mind, what are the best headphones to use with a mic? What for monitoring? If you like, right now I'm using the JBL Quantum 400. These are gaming headphones. 
you can use just about any headphones with your mic it doesn't have to be like super high quality like i think jack septi uses the xm4 headphones you can use that thanks joshua guys if i'm responding to your comments late it's because of the buffering uh, what is better for you sennheiser cx plus or elite 7 pro the top between considering between them for the new auto gift sennheiser cx plus or elite 7 pro whether well, it's about the noise cancelling cx plus if it's about the size of the case hmm like if you need multi-point pairing definitely go for the 7 pro otherwise the cx plus is a very good choice i think it's also like a little cheaper if i'm not mistaken i skipped your comment amir wait let me scroll back I've not tried the Libertone Air 2 though. Have I? I don't recall trying that. I've tried the Track Air Plus, made a review about it, but I haven't tried the Air 2, so I can't comment on something because I haven't tried yet. I'm so sorry that I skipped you. Like, I didn't skip your comment, I just didn't see it because the scrolling is like very fast. Yeah, but region. Sony has like 600 plus and I have like 73, which is awesome by the way. It's way above like my regular streams. I'm super happy. <laughs> but there's a gap. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe when it's closer to 1 no, 12 p.m. Eastern time, that would be the viewership will pick up. Yes, Nick, then definitely go for I mean, if you, if it's value for money you want, the CX Plus is very good value for money, but I just prefer like the, the app of the Elite 7 Pro and the multi-point pairing. They've only recently added multi-point pairing, which is the ability to stay connected to two devices. So you can be connected to your computer and still take calls from your phone, you know? Xperia 1 4. Do you, Ray Stone, do you currently use an Xperia phone? Yeah, if you want multi point connection and something on the higher end of things, then the Jabra Elite 7 Pro, Elite 7 Active. Good choices. Uh, no, Jonathan, it's not happened yet. It's about to in about half an hour 25 minutes to be exact oh you use the xperia one nice oh yes okay <clears throat> so i wanted to talk about like hey ali jason you came just in time man so i was gonna cover like what i think is this product is gonna be like <clears throat> guys have you ever heard of the xperia ear duo because that is the product that i think is gonna be relaunched like it's been redesigned and now sony is gonna launch a new version of it so we're gonna, you're probably gonna see a second version of the xperia ear duo now this earbud this pair of earbuds completely escaped my radar it was never on my radar because i think it was so unpopular that nobody bothered to like talk about it much <laughs> yeah xperia ear duo so okay the xperia ear duo was designed to be like you know 
it, it lets you enjoy music without interfering with uh, ambient sounds, ambient noises. Uh, so it looked like this. Let me just very quickly. Okay, hang on. Okay, guys, so this is the Xperia Ear Duo. Look at this product. This was back in 2018. And they actually had like... <laughs> Let me just zoom in on this particular picture. Wow, okay, hang on. Let's open picture in new tab. Okay, let's zoom in. So yeah, you had a loop which went like around your ear canal and you had these gigantic pieces that sits not above, not above, but under your ears. It's so weird. Look at this. So this is the Xperia Ear Duo and it's been, meant to be like something like a like a hearing aid but it's like you know you can enjoy uh, music uh watch videos take calls while staying 100 percent in tune with your environment and it also has accelerometers and a gyroscope inside so it does hit tracking too like you can skip tracks by shaking your head answer phone calls by nodding but the thing is and The Verge actually covered this product really well. Like, they're saying in a nutshell that its audio quality wasn't good. It was a hassle to wear, confusing to wear even. And it's just too expensive. Okay, so this is The Verge's coverage of the Xperia Ear Duo, okay? This was now, guys, this was back in 2018. Huge piece under the ears. Sony's futuristic earbuds are a pain in the present. <laughs> I love how they describe this. It was $280, guys. Maybe I should just... Okay, maybe I should just lower the volume of the music. Okay, let's read. I'll never feel good about wearing them. That's the main hump I can't go get over with the Sony Xperia Ear Duo, which look nothing like other earbuds you've worn and not in a good way. The idea behind them is unique. The Ear Duos wrap around the underside of your ear and have a big hole right in the middle part of the ear, right in the middle of the part that fits into your inner ear. This design allows you to hear your surroundings just as well as you would without them on. So this is this seems to be kind of like the concept that we might be seeing later with the L900. Yeah, <laughs> $280. I'm sure that's a concept that's plenty of what people will want, but Sony's execution is foiled by an odd design, mediocre sound, and at $200, $280, way too high of a price. Okay. And they've got a low down here. Five, a verge score of five. Now, to get a score of five on verge is... Not, that's rare. <laughs> yeah. And he had an app and you could like tie in your phone's voice assistant with this product. Yeah. So I suspect that the L900 is designed to be something like this. Look at the case. Oh my god. This is like the palm of my hand. That's how big it was. And the battery life was four hours. Four hours. Of listening time. It's hideous. So you've got some like description about how it works. Oh, okay, it's got touchpads, right? You tap left. 
tap on the left one to play pause, double tap to skip track, accelerometer and gyroscope like I said, turn your head to the left to go back, a track, turn your head to the right to skip the next track, yeah. And for Android, Sony includes its own digital voice assistant called the Daily Assist. So this is from the Xperia Ear Duo app. Yeah. So at the end, he says that it's two hundred eighty dollars. I find it incredibly difficult to justify spending that kind of money. On these things what are you paying for all the r d that went into making them sony certainly tried something new and out of the ordinary with the ear duos they've got all the hallmarks of a weird quirky sony gadget but that doesn't mean they're good if you need awareness of surroundings i'd recommend airpods other earbuds that have an open design that lets in a fair amount of outside noise they sound way better too. So I think the L900 might be somewhere in the same vein. Okay, let me just scroll back the comments. I want to see what you guys wrote while I was reading. Yeah, see, Steve, the 75Ts actually do have a lot of value even now. Which earbuds are you using as your daily driver and why? I use the Anchor Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro and the Sony WF-1000XM4, although recently I've I have been using the Anchor earbuds a little more. But if I need like powerful noise cancelling, then my go-to is the Sony's. <laughs> Imagine Sony actually integrates ANC on that thing. Technically possible, especially given that Sony has signed patent for ANC drones. But in an earbud context, it's not very likely because even in the FCC filing, uh, the description of the product uh, wasn't like true wireless ANC earbuds. It was just true wireless stereo earbuds. I have the Creative Outliers V3. <laughs> Yeah, Creative makes pretty good earbuds, I give you that, Nick. The Nothing Ear one is... There was a lot of hype around it. Yeah, and that seemed to have made people expect more from the product. And of course, the product ended up not being worth the hype, in my opinion. Things have changed because I think recently they've had a software update. Yeah, I might have want to, I might want to go back and check my ear ones to see how different they are now compared to the previous firmware. Oh, Redstone, definitely earbuds for me. What about you? We have less than 15 minutes left before the launch of the earbuds. If they're gonna launch the earbuds, that is. Yeah, I've actually, well, I think I did review a pair of creatives before, but that was a long time ago. I think it was like four years ago. Since then, I've tried to contact them about review units, but they wouldn't send me any. I wonder why. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, what's coming up next for this channel? I'll be reviewing some Technics earbuds. Um, that is going to be in March because apparently Panasonic has to assess my credibility. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So I've been told that it'll take about a month for that to happen. Which is weird because I've never had to go through this preliminary assessment. Uh, in bed with flu, still got energy. Thank you, Jeremy! Jeremy! Drink more water! Rest more! And thank you so much for coming by, Jeremy, despite you being down with the flu. Hey, Johan Yanning. Hi. What's up, man? What's up, bro? Guys, by the way, I've also got a Discord server. If you guys want to hang out or chat, hang on, let me just copy this. Why does it always expire in seven days? I don't want this link to ever be expiring. Okay. Yeah, so guys, I've got a Discord server. Let me just punch it in. Yeah, so Discord is like this. Uh, it's the most popular gaming chat app. It's really fun. You can like, <laughs> well, you got to try to believe it, but it's actually one of the best things that has happened <laughs> for me. I want so many Discord servers has to do with like uh gaming audio i'm also on linus tech tips discord server so guys if you haven't already joined my discord link is in the chat okay let me just check my chat again Well, wow, Robotrix. Well, I did say in my video that it might be something something to do with PSVR too. Uh, but now I'm not so sure. Having learned from a viewer that this might be a sequel to the Xperia Ear Duo. Which is a product that flopped. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna be... You know, I'm just gonna say in a very plain way. This product flopped. Mada Ju Nana Punka. Hi. Jufun. <laughs> oh, come on, Divune. At least stick around for the launch. Let's see what is installed. And store. Yeah, <laughs> you see, it's ramping up already. Soon they'll have like a thousand viewers. I'm one of them, <laughs> and you guys too. But of course, on Sony's YouTube page, on the live stream, you're not going to get live commentary from a tech reviewer. <laughs> hey, Apotrays. Greetings from Singapore. Hello. How's things in South Africa? Yeah, Ali Jassim, I've actually had like I was talking about it. I've reached out to uh, Panasonic about this. They will be sending me a review unit, but I have to go through like a verification process <laughs> to verify how credible I am. So weird, right? I know. <laughs> but anyways, they say it's gonna be. Uh, they say they are lonely to me like next month or something. We'll see. I've now got a hundred concurrent viewers. Guys, thank you for joining. And guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe and tap the bell button because 
when this product becomes available in Singapore, I will be reviewing it. If you don't want to miss out on that review, tap subscribe, hit the bell button, don't miss out. Okay? <laughs> so if you haven't done it yet, before the live stream starts, do it. Pranav, I think right now you shouldn't, you should probably not wait for the WH-1000XM5. Because it's still so far away and we don't know like how big of an improvement it's gonna be. And the XM4 headphones are pretty good. Still pretty good. Yeah, Aston, I've actually pasted my Discord link. I can paste it again for you if you want. Please review the AP. Yeah, I might. Budiman. Yeah, Ali Jassem, I've just pasted my Discord link again. I bought WHXM4 after watching your view video. 100% worth. Nice. You're welcome, Anmol. You're welcome. I'm actually a big fan of the XM4 headphones myself. So Aston, for me, I think the JBL Quantum 400 is the best value. Like, it isn't the best in terms of, of mic quality, sound quality, and all that. But it is the cheapest one that I could find that has, like, USB Type-C connection and 3.5mm. Razer headphones only have one or the other, and they usually are priced a lot higher. Which is why, why I went for the JBL. We have 6 minutes more before the launch. <laughs> Razer Nari essential. Wow! What a mad lad. I like it. <laughs> But dude, like, do you connect? What do you connect it to? And how do you connect it? Bluetooth? Isn't the Nari like the one with the vibrator? <laughs> I might actually do that. I've, I've reviewed the club one before. I haven't reviewed the tour one. slight shaking of the case cap what do you mean slight shaking like does it wobble sound improved hmm. okay hey tashisha hello welcome to the stream guys if you've just come onto the stream comment let me know you're here <laughs> yeah, the Nari Ultimate has the <laughs> USB Type C. Wait, on your commute, what are you connected to do? Like, do you listen on your laptop on your commute? You're welcome, Pranav. <laughs> Carlos James, hey, old friend, what? How's it going, bro? All the legends. Yeah, we've got Johan here. We've got... I think... 3 to one Bada is also here. Michigan. Hey, Naj. Raj. Raj. Now what they? Stavros Yika. Yeah, this could be the launch of the Sony WF-L900. From Brazil, Paulo Henrique. Hey, I'm from Singapore, Paulo. How are you, man? I use a dongle to connect the headset to my phone via the US. Oh, that works. That works. 
Hey, Mexico. Hola. Hola, Gil. Beverido. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Guys, look at Sony. Look at Sony stream. They've got like... 1,102. Wow. Three minutes. I'm good, brother. How are you, Raj? How are you? Hey, Ohio. Victor Mendoza. Hey, Victor. Weren't you on my, like, like my previous stream? How are you, man? And thanks for joining, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like my own stream. I forgot to smash like on my own stream. <laughs> yeah, the Sony earbuds are like... Yeah, they aren't ch they aren't expensive, but they aren't cheap either. So it's more like an investment. <laughs> Malta. Hey Charles, thanks for your thanks for following, man. Thanks a lot for following. So we've got like 118 viewers now. As you can see from this screen. Okay, let's switch back. <laughs> Sixty seconds left. Yeah, there is a buffer. Okay, let's watch. Let's watch. Let's cut the music. Yep, it's coming. <laughs> a thousand two hundred and ninety-three viewers. Epic. How many seconds left? Yeah, probably to like 10 seconds left. Since Sony left Brazil, the price on the product skyrocketed. Yeah, I think they're manufacturing more in like Vietnam and Malaysia now. <laughs> Just imagine Sony postponing the launch. <laughs> oh my god. Then I'll probably put on a game and just play something. Maybe The Witcher 3. Oh yeah, I love chicken biryani, man. Nasi biryani ayam. <laughs> I love it. I'm, in fact, I'm developing like a craving for it now. Hey, Paolo, thank you so much for that. You're too kind, man. <laughs> thank you. How you? What do you think about it, Justin? X and 4 earbuds. Okay. Okay. Wow, so loud. Damn it. Guys, if you have problems with the volume, let me know. Hey, hold on. Okay, it's showing. Because for a moment, it wasn't showing on my screen. Hey, that's weird. How come it's not showing on my screen? It's like stuttering. Okay, so I've actually got to watch the stream. Let's put it on the full screen then. 
Okay guys, I'll be muting my microphone. Let's watch this together. And then I'll I'll talk about it after the stream, okay? A long time ago, headphones were just a simple wire device used to listen to music with a Walkman or other audio devices. Five years ago, headphones became a wireless hardware to listen to music with various devices, including smartphones. And now, they are a versatile online necessity used to connect with loved ones over the phone and video conference with remote colleagues. They have become a tool to enjoy several mobile and online sound experiences. And the next question is this. What will be the next step? What will the newest headphones evolution allow us to accomplish? Sony has always been at the forefront of mobile audio. Introducing industry first, like the Walkman, noise cancelling headphones, and 3D audio, like 360 reality audio. Today, we will redefine headphones and introduce an entirely new concept meant to bring us beyond traditional music and online use cases. Today, we announce LinkPads. Link buds are a wearable, always-on sound gateway that bridges the gap between online and offline to deliver completely new experiences to you. You can enjoy various types of online sounds while still being able to hear offline real-world sounds at the same time through the hole at the center of the earbud. Yes, you heard me correctly. They have real holes. Thanks to this very unique design, LinkBuds provides you with several new sound experiences with the help of our incredible partners, such as AR gaming and brand new video conferencing capabilities. Let's see what LinkBuds are capable of. Firstly, always on, link online and offline. LinkBuds Specially developed ring-shaped driver unit enables true transparent listening by capturing surrounding sounds, making you feel like you're not wearing headphones. They are also small and lightweight, making them extremely comfortable to wear. This means you can carry out both online and offline activities at the same time, while you are walking, calling, having a teleconference, or playing games. Smart features like wide area tap, quick access to music, adaptive volume control, and crystal clear call quality using deep neural networks based on AI machine learning algorithms make them easy to use for an effortless lifestyle. Secondly, New sound experience. LinkBirds uniquely integrate a gyro sensor and spatial sound technologies to deliver new audio experiences for gaming, work, music, and more. 
We've been working closely with our strong partners to develop amazing sound experiences that open new dimensions for LinkBuds owners. One thing I love about LinkBuds is that you can hear surrounding sounds so clearly, making them a perfect fit for the modern work environment and work from home lifestyle. Another project we are working on with Microsoft is Soundscape, which will help everyone, including people who are blind or low vision, explore places more comfortably by leveraging LinkBad's unique design. Hello, my name is John L. Chudge. I'm an innovation architect at Microsoft and one of the co-founders of Microsoft Soundscape. Following the strategic relationship Sony and Microsoft formed in 2019, we've been exploring how we can collaborate and bring new value to our customers. I'm here to talk about the groundbreaking work we've been doing together to integrate Soundscape with the new Sony LinkBuds device and the potential it will have for a whole new range of experiences. Microsoft Soundscape is a navigation app which uses spatial audio to tell you about nearby places, roads and intersections, so they sound like they're coming from where they actually are in relation to you. Now in this way, your awareness of your environment is enhanced and the opportunity to create a more heads up and hand tree interaction with technology makes for a more human experience. And as we integrated LinkBud through Soundscape, the headphones open ear design, the built-in sensors and the quality of the audio all neatly packaged together in a lovely form factor brings us much closer to that vision of a more human experience in a beautiful way. Now Soundscape doesn't tell you what to do. Instead, it allows you to build a richer picture of a space and explore and discover new places on your own terms by augmenting your experience through 3D sound callouts. Thanks to the open ear design, the link buds don't block the sounds of the world around you and this lets you pay attention to your surroundings while being able to comfortably listen to the information from Soundscape. As Soundscape is designed for everyone, we work closely with a range of different people, including several people who are blind or have low vision, and the feedback from them all on their experience of LinkBuds was very, very positive. And the LinkBuds design, as it is lightweight and very comfortable, allow you the versatility to wear them for extended periods while using different applications. Now it's been the case that over the past couple of years, we've all had to make changes and adjust to new ways of working and interacting and collaborating with each other. And now, the modern world of work requires technology that supports working from anywhere. In the past it was the office, but now it can be the home, while you're taking a walk, picking your kids up from school and so on. The way that we work has changed, and it won't go back to how it was before. Now with the capabilities of LinkBuds, you can be productive in communicating with colleagues, leading or taking part in meetings, while still being able to attend to whatever else you may be doing. Now these are just a couple of really compelling and impactful cases of how a collaboration with Sony hardware like the LinkBuds and Microsoft's innovative technology can create and bring new value to our customers. And this is really just the beginning and we're working on a number of new and innovative services for the future. So stay tuned and thank you. Now, let me tell you about our exciting gaming collaboration. Together with our partner Niantic, LinkBuds will provide gamers with an incredible online and offline connection for a truly unique AR gaming experience. Hi, I'm Archit Bhargava, Director of Product Marketing at Niantic. Our mission is to inspire people to explore the world together. Through our games, Ingress, Pokemon Go, and Pikmin Bloom, Millions of people have discovered new places and experienced the joys of connecting with their friends in the real world. These games are built on a global game board that connects the real with the digital world to create shared magical experiences. Now, when you mentioned augmented reality today, most people think of images, creations, or filters overlaid on the real world. That's going to be a big part of the future, but this experience will be even more immersive when you tap into other senses, such as sound. That's why, we are so excited to partner with Sony on the launch of LinkBuds, a new category of headphones that provide high fidelity audio in a real world, always on stylish device. Sound is an important part of all gaming experiences, and especially ones which are played out in the real world. Today, many people play Niantic's games with the sound off because you don't want to be cut off from the world around you. 
But with LinkBuds, we think our users will be even more immersed in the experience while also being aware of their surroundings in the real world too. This for us is just the beginning. We're also looking forward to collaborating with Sony to create fun, immersive audio experiences for our community on an even deeper level. Thank you. And for our loyal music lovers, quick access to Spotify is a great link back feature for seamless listening experience. By simply tapping your cheek, Spotify instantly starts without even taking out your smartphone. At any given moment, millions of people across the globe are listening to their favorite artists on Spotify. Our ambition is to make sure great audio is accessible everywhere our listeners are. Today, no matter what device you're using, whether you're at home or on the move, Spotify is always there with music tailored just for you. But we're just getting started. We believe we can go even further to give great choices in every moment. We want to create a future where no matter the situation, our listeners get a seamless experience. Where getting the music started is effortless, and yet each experience is made just for you. Whereas you move from work to the gym to home, the music moves with you. Where the perfect experience for each moment is revealed in delightful ways. And so we're excited by the arrival of Spotify Tap on Link Buds by Sony. Spotify Tap provides the easiest, most personal way to bring music to your ears. Put on your headphones and simple taps get the music playing from wherever you left off. If you were listening on another device, it seamlessly moves the sound to your headphones. If you're in the mood for something different, tapping again plays a recommendation just for you, which means you'll sometimes discover something new and more choices are just a tap away. We're excited to bring our most effortless experience yet to LinkBuds. It means whatever you're doing, Spotify and Sony can be with you as never before, and you can fill your day with more of the sounds you love. Last but not least, Sony is committed to sustainability and reducing the environmental impact of our products and practices. We use recycled plastic to create the LinkPads headphones and their charging case, and the product packaging does not use any plastic materials. LinkPads are the wearable sound gateway to link online and offline worlds and to deliver new user experiences. We can't wait for you to try them out for yourself. We will continue to create innovations by working with partners extensively to provide a revolutionary lifestyle without boundaries. Thank you. All right, guys, so we've got a link, but oh, we have more. Ring driver, interesting. Yeah, this really is like a sequel to the Xperia Air Duo. Water resistance! IPX4! Five. 5.5, 7.0. Okay, so I assume that was the product video. Hang on. 
So guys, what do you think? <laughs> well, it is... Well, it, it is a pretty unique product. Several products have been attempted before that does something like what Sony wants to do with the link buds. Yeah, for example, the the Bose frames, sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, they try to do like, you know, they, they try to get collaborations with different app makers, game creators. I think it's a pretty cool product because you are looking at a well-established company like Sony collaborating with big players in the industry like Microsoft, Spotify, Niantic, you know, if you're playing Pokemon Go, Niantic is the company behind Pokemon Go. Yeah, they didn't tell the main thing price. That is one thing they didn't tell. <laughs> it could be pretty expensive. Okay, so what do we know about it? It's IPX4, it's got 5.5 hours at the bots, 17.5 hours with case which in the context of such a product where you want to wear them for the whole day is actually not very impressive. <laughs> Slap your face to play music or get slapped in the face to play music. How about that? <laughs> I was quite surprised with that feature. You just tap like the side of your ear to pause and play your music. That's pretty innovative because we were speculating. Where are the touch controls, right? If you look at the coverage by the Walkman blog, other uh, news outlets, they were wondering if the touch sensors could be on that, you know, the on part of the earbud. But it turns out that the, the touch controls beside the earbuds on your face. <laughs> just searched it review or review ah damn it someone already reviewed it yeah if it gets available in Singapore I will be reviewing it too so guys if you haven't subscribed subscribe tap the bell button to stay notified yeah but it, it supports 360 reality audio and my, Microsoft is gonna well, they are collaborating with Microsoft to make it useful for the visually impaired, which I think is pretty interesting. It's an interesting angle. Can we watch it again and make sure we caught everything? Uh, Caleb, what do you want to watch again? The product video? <laughs> Touch me here somehow in the chat. <laughs> no! This is for eavesdroppers. So... In my predictions video, I was right about a few things and wrong about a few other things. I was accurate in saying that this might actually be something that uh, is going to be like a hearing aid. Uh, and true enough, it's something that will be an assistance device or is going to be developed to be an assistance device for the visually impaired. That's one thing. What I was wrong about is that this will be for PSVR 2. That one was way off the mark. But it is going to be used in a gaming context. Collaboration with Neon Tech for AR gaming. That is going to be interesting. We'll see. But one thing that really strikes me about the launch is that they were talking about all these features, but they weren't showing how it works. So I think these are features that could still be in development and will be rolled out in future software updates. Tap the side of the head with your index finger and the rest of your hand closed. I don't know. <laughs> what, is this, what is this supposed to feel like? Imagine sitting on the commuter train and tipping. Yeah, that's the thing you see. So it's going to be so unorthodox that it might, you know, draw some attention. Tapping your cheek to play Spotify, that it's weird. It's weird. Thanks, Steve. 
Thanks, Steve. I think it might work whether you're you're fat or skinny because it actually well I'm suspecting that the microphone is always on so it registers taps it's just like the what you call it what was that product there's one other product that also oh the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus those earbuds you can tap outside of the touch panel to activate certain controls like volume control and I think it's because the microphone registers the taps. We'll see. Expensive in India. Hang on, is there already the price? Let's see how much it costs. Let's see if it's already on Sony's website. Okay. Oh my god, I don't know why. Okay, hang on. Consumer electronics. Oh, it's not on Sony's website yet. Hang on, let's see if there are any press releases. Nope, nothing on my end. Hang on. Um, let's search for link, but and see if it comes out. Okay, okay. So earlier I referenced the review of the new buds. No, it's not the new buds. Anyway, the Xperia buds covered by the Verge. Let's see what the Verge has to say about the link buds. Okay. So I've got a page here open. <laughs> man, I hope not, man. I hope not. What if she slaps you in public? Okay, let's check out what The Verge has to say about this product. The Link Buds are Sony's strangest earbuds in years and surprisingly good. Weird, refreshing, and fast fantastic at voice calls. Now, now we're talking. It makes complete sense that some people re prefer open earbuds like Apple's AirPods or Samsung's Galaxy Buds Live, instead of the countless others that snugly wedge into the ear canal with silicone tips. Okay, so on and so forth. Uh, so after releasing the phenomenal XM4 earbuds that remain our favorite overall pick, Sony has turned its attention to creating an open-style earbud of its own. The $179.99 Link Buds, so it's $180, were designed from the ground up to attract those customers who have no interest in the XM4s or even Sony's much cheaper C500s. Okay, so it's $180. That's quite a reasonable price. It's competing directly against the Jabra Elite 7 Pro, Elite 7 Active. First, I must celebrate Sony opting for a sensible product name instead of marketing its newest earbuds with their boring, meaningless model number. I agree. Link buds. Simple. Link buds. Okay, so this is raving about the name and yeah they are referencing back to the bizarre xperia ear duo yeah okay so concept aside there's not much of a thread between the xperia ear duo and the link buds their designs are wildly different and sony has learned a lot about tws earbuds i agree I agree. Sony's TWS earbuds have come a long way from the original WF-1000X to the X Mark IV. It's very long-winded, uh, this article. Okay, so they've got custom ring-shaped 12mm earbud drivers. I'm very interested in finding out how it works. It routes audio into your ears with minimal sound bleed. Interesting. 
three grams no four grams that's pretty light lighter than the third generation airpods interesting okay i'm just gonna skip through some boring parts of the article four sizes of supporters okay okay so they're saying it becomes, it's quite comfortable to wear, even after several straight hours of wearing. That is good. They can, you can run with them apparently. <laughs> the chewing and talking tests. Yeah, the AirPods Pro fails that tests. The chewing and talking test. <laughs> it drops out after a while, but this one's because of the supporter the the ear loop, it's going to be more stable. Okay, so here they're going to talk about sound quality, right? Listen to this. Listening to music with the link buds is a mixed bag. Whether, whenever you're dealing with open style earbuds, you need to lower your base expectations. Not really, and I'll tell you why later. There's inherently less oomph and bottom end with a form factor like this and it's noticeable whether you use whenever you use them <clears throat> in terms of overall fidelity the xm4 earbuds unsurprisingly run circles around the link buds so if you're wondering whether these might compete with the xm4s in terms of sound quality uh, apparently the verge is saying that it's not going to compete it's not going to have bass like the xm4s Okay, um, Sony has tuned the link buds in such a way that you can still hear and perceive bass. Hear and perceive, guys. You can still hear and perceive. It just isn't going to move you since you can't feel it thumping in your ears. In other words, it's not going to punch you in your face. I like my earbuds to punch me in the face, which is why I listen to the uh, the Anchor Soundcore L3P because those its bass is so deliciously punchy. Overall, sound signature is balanced enough that highs and mids aren't lopsidedly overpowering the bass in unpleasant ways. So it's tuned to be to sound a little more balanced despite having less bass. It's what, it ex what I was expecting to do, to be honest. One thing about open earbuds is that they often make the soundstage seem wider with more distinct channel separation. Yeah, that is true. Open fit earbuds always seem to have wider soundstage. That is true. Okay. But what's also interesting about these earbuds, they have automatic volume. Now, this is a feature that also appeared in the Xperia ear... What's it called again? I forgot. Um, Xperia ear duo. Now, this earbud also had that auto volume feature. So, yeah. I think it's going to be quite an interesting product to try. Then you have some ramble about the specs. I'll cut Sony some slack here for the link buds, compact light form factor. No, I don't agree. I don't agree with this. I think 5.5 hours plus 12 hours is quite average. It might be a little below average because competing earbuds at $180 often have battery life longer than 24 hours. And those earbuds don't seem to be bigger than the Link Buds, to be honest. So I'm not going to cut Sony some slack here. I think they can do better. IPX4. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to link this article in case you guys want to read it. I'm going to link this article in the chat. Oh, 
Oops, <laughs> wrong chat. Yeah. Okay, so overall thoughts about the link bots. I think it's a pretty interesting product, uh, but I don't think we'll be seeing all those extra features like the Sony's collaboration with Microsoft, collaboration with Spotify, Niantic. I don't think it's gonna launch with the product. The product will launch without all these collaborations in place. I think it's still a work in progress. But in terms of the product by itself, as is, it's a pretty interesting product. Uh, Sony is doing many. Sony is doing many things right here with the link buds, compared to the Xperia Ear Duo. I think that product is like a big flop, uh, and they are incorporating certain features that I suspect they might want to put into future earbuds like the WF thousand X and five. Like making use of this real estate here beside your ears. Is interesting. I will want to see such features in future Sony earbuds, not just the link buds. Haven't trusted the Verge since their PC build guide. We'll wait for your review first, Aaron. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for saying that, Osman. Now, the Verge, of course, is a publication that relies on like advertising for the revenue. So yeah, I agree that such publications might not be entirely bias-free, but they seem to be pretty right on the money in terms of, uh, for example, the sound quality. They said in the article that the link buds don't appear to have like uh, a lot of bass. How bad is it going to be? We'll see in the review. Yeah, Riley, the link buds are going to be like $180. This gives a strong feeling of bone conduction headphones. Yeah, actually, guys, I have a bone conduction headphones review coming up soon. So yeah, I think it's, yeah, I'm looking forward to review that. I think it's an interesting product. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, um, K-pop does have very nice songs too. You're welcome, Nick. I bet you enjoyed this video. Totally get the technology. Doesn't suit me. Yeah, I mean, if you're... If you're like me, if you've been living with traditional headphones, uh, this is definitely going to be a step that you haven't taken before in terms of the audio technology. But I think I think it's pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to try this product. I really am. And I hope by the time I get to try it, at least some of these features, these collabs with these big players are in place. I'm looking forward to play some augmented reality games with the link buds. Currently using the technique a Z40 awesome when it comes to call quality and they sound awesome yeah I'm really looking forward to using the uh, to try sorry try the AZ60 that's gonna come next month <laughs> because Panasonic says that they've got to like assess my suitability my credibility <laughs> so you're welcome Jeremy too expensive, too strange. Thanks for your great video. So you're welcome. You're welcome. Let me just scroll back through the comments. The unboxing ex the unboxing experience AR? Seriously? Yeah, so I'm looking forward to try these earbuds slapping myself in the face or having my girlfriend slap me in the face. 
<laughs> see if that activates Spotify. I think that'd be fun. <laughs> Okay, so guys, uh, before we call it a day, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, tap the bell button, because when I get the link buds in for review, you guys will be among the first to know. And of course, uh, go into your YouTube settings and activate all notifications, because that is one major reason why, despite tapping the bell button, you're not getting notified, because you haven't activated enable all notifications in youtube settings so do that so subscribe tap the bell button like this video share with your friends if you enjoyed the coverage jenna azarek has already released her unboxings of these <laughs> oh man i'm so sad that sony didn't send me a unit to review yeah, but perhaps it's because it's not launching in Asia so soon. Hey, 3 to one Biter! Hey! You made it on time. I was just about to call it a day. Yeah, it's... So, 3 to one Biter, the Link Buds, interesting product. If you want to watch my coverage about the Link Buds, just, like, <laughs> rewind to, like, the one-hour mark in the video. I was very amused when the the host, the presenter, well, he's Japanese, right? So his pronunciation is a little hard to understand, even for people like me with weird pronunciation. <laughs> it, it was a little challenging for me. He said, wow, these have holes, real holes. <laughs> I'm like, what the... <laughs> <gasps> yeah i used to be i know i know maybe yeah sony has their own plans <laughs> nick thank you so much for staying subscribed just ordered mine from best buy i will have them oh nice you're wasting no time, man. <laughs> All I really care about is excellent ambient mode, adjustability in an app, and refuse to pay 275 for the XM4. Yeah, this is like perpetual ambient mode, man. Bob, these are open fit earbuds, so you're never gonna need ambient mode. It's designed to like, it's more like hearing augmentation. Thanks for that, Pranav. That's really kind of you to say that. Anthony, so... Yeah. high res audio streamer similar to Blue Sound. Yeah, then they have to prove that their technology is unique. Otherwise, gonna, they're going to be hit by lawsuits from all over the place. From Sonos, from Google, Apple. But I really do hope Sony releases their own streamer. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for dropping by. And I hope you enjoyed this coverage of the WF L900 Link Buds launch. And if you've missed any part of this video, just go back to the one hour mark. Yeah, that's when the event started. Alright guys, it's been fun. I'll see you guys in the next video. Do stay tuned and of course, remember to like this video, tap subscribe, and ring the bell button. i see you guys in the next video, bros. And sisters. <laughs>